dozens of secondary schools have excluded at least a fifth of pupils sparking calls for government action. Some academy schools across Yorkshire, the Hummer and the East Midlands excluded 41% of pupils, compared the national average of 4. 6% The Guardian revealed. Angela Rayner, the shadow education secretary, said high school exclusion should be a matter of huge concern to the government and to the schools affected. This comes after thousands of badly performing pupils may have been excluded by state schools looking to boost their position in league tables. It is believed exclusions were handed out to pupils to get rid of students who would do badly in their GCSEs. Share this article Share more than 30,000 pupils have not had their GCSE results recorded in tables despite previously appearing on school registers over the last three years, it is claimed. Pupils often vanish from the register in the months leading up to exams. More than 19,000 pupils who were in year 10 in 2016 had off-rolled from the school system, an Ofsted investigation found. Ofsted said it was becoming increasingly concerned about the illegal process, known as off-rolling adding it was never acceptable to use exclusion to boost school performance. Last month it was revealed that more than 40 exclusions were handed out a day between 2016 and 2017, the Department for Education found. The Department for Education launched a review led by former Conservative MP and Children's Minister Edward Timson to explore how head teachers use exclusion in practice and why some groups of pupils are more likely to be excluded. The launch of the review came after Catherine Kirby, Ofsted's regional director for the Northeast Yorkshire, and the Hummer complained to secondary schools about the high rates of exclusions. Schools should only ever use exclusions as a last resort, she said. If not properly applied, being removed from school can disrupt a child's education and affect their future life chances. A spokesperson for the Department for Education said the decision to exclude should be a last resort. They said statutory guidance also states that schools should consider the underlying causes of poor behavior before excluding a pupil. How expelled GCSE pupil became armed robber a boy excluded from his school before sitting his GCSEs has been convicted of robbing taxi drivers at gunpoint. Celinda Gumabasso was due to sit as GCSEs in 2015 at the Excelsior Academy in Newcastle. But he was excluded from the school which once sent students on an expedition to Mount Everest for bad behavior after he was disruptive in lessons and got into fights, a former classmate told The Times. After he was moved to a local pupil referral unit Linhep in Newcastle, he got involved with a violent gang, got into debt and started taking cocaine and cannabis. He was sent to a young offender institution after he was jailed for seven and a half years for his part in armed robberies on taxi drivers in Newcastle and Gateshead. The gang posed as genuine cusimers, asked to be driven to specific locations before making threats with their weapons and stealing valuable. Mabasso, now 19, pleaded guilty to robbery and weapons charges alongside Al Hazara Remu, also a pupil at Excelsior Academy, and Brandon Mackham. On one occasion Mabasso threatened to murder a driver, saying, I'm not scared to kill you, I've just come out of prison. 
When police later searched the young men's homes they found Scream and Guy Fox masks, balaclavas, an imitation firearm, a machete and a hunting knife There were also pictures on their phones of them posing with machetes and guns. Excelsior Academy said that it would not comment on individual cases but that every alternative is considered before pupils are referred to the pre or permanently excluded.